guys. Tacoma Comics here. Glare be damned. We're going to do this. This is my auction preview for the auction on this Wednesday night, March 6th, on All About Comics, 8 p.m. CST. The regulars should all be there. C. Woodard, Drew Manchu, Hood at Comics and Movies, JP, myself, G. Pap might be there, and who knows what guests JP's pulling in. So, um, I got about seven lots, and we're only going three rounds, so you guys can just vote in the, the comments. What what do you want to see the most, because I'll, I'll put whatever lot in you want to see. First lot I'm thinking about is this nice little Civil War, and this says all this glare because of the white background there, but it's a full, complete Civil War. One, two, three, four, five. Six and seven. These are all new mint. Uh, sorry, new mint, near mint. Um, nine fours, nine sixes. I mean, we'll take them out and look real close if anybody's interested. But I see nothing wrong with with any of these. Um, so there's one lot that could be in the auction. Let's see what else we got coming up there. Ooh, I know what you're looking at right there. This is what you're looking at right there, huh? So this is Art Germ, Virgin Variant, and probably a ratio variant for Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man. Um, just gorgeous. We still have no idea who this is. Is this Mary Jane with claws and uh, katana? I, I don't know, but I don't really care. Do you care? Look at that. So if that uh, this lot gets up enough, we'll also add this uh, Perillo. Uh, beautiful, beautiful cover to Amazing Spider-Man number one. And we can throw in, uh, look at the names on this. Grant Morrison, Mark Millar, uh, Amanda Connor, and Jimmy Palmiotti. This is the gold variant to, uh, gold letter variant to Vampirella number one from Descend Ascending Evil Comics. Um, that's a nice lot. I might have some other stuff to put in there. I'm not too sure uh, what we can find, but we will definitely see. Over here, we got a little New Avengers lot. That's New Avengers number one. New Avengers number four. We call that the, oops, that's the glare, man. Stay away from that. That is the first appearance of Maria Hill and the incredibly strangely drawn buttocks. There is New Avengers number seven, the first uh, appearance of the Illuminati. New Avengers number four, the first appearance of Maya Lopez as Ronin. And that's just a super, super cool cover. Love that cover. Uh, what else we got here? New Avengers 16, first appearance of the Collective, which is uh, Weapon Omega and the Guardian. New Avengers number 27, this was super hot about a month ago, cooled down a little bit now. Uh, great cover though, that is the first Hawkeye is Ronin. Uh, New Avengers number 30, that is something of a key, don't ask me what. And New Avengers number 40. That is also a key. There was a new Avengers book that was a key. It was in this lot. So there you go. What else we got coming up? Um, might add these to the new Avengers lot because I only got three of them, but they are keys. Or I might add them to a Batman lot. Man, that glare is just crazy. So we've got uh, week 50 or 52, week 7. And these, I need to get some boards on these. Week 9. And week 11. So that's the first cameo of Kate Kane, the first full Kate Kane, and the first cameo of Kate Kane as Batwoman. Moving right along, as we tend to do in these things, I got a nice little speculator lot. And actually, some of this is not speculation because some of this is actually coming directly to uh, Netflix very, very soon. Um, Mark Millar's. Jupiter, I gotta just hold this up so you don't get that glare, and then you don't get my shadow for my arm. Jupiter's Legacy, number one. Huck, number one. Magic Order, number one, the Leviathan variant. I have no idea what it's called. I'm calling it the Leviathan variant. Secret Service, number one. This is the only one so far that is not Guaranteed to be a Netflix TV show, but it's Mark Millar, and he's got the big Netflix deal, so you never know. Black Magic, I don't know why number five is there. That's out of order. 
Black Magic number one. I just had an extra number five I thought I'd throw in. But Black Magic number one, that is coming to TV by Greg Rucka. Crosswind by Gail Simone and Cat Staggs. Cat Staggs, that's coming to TV. Superior is also a speculator lot. There's no uh, talk yet about whether or not that will be a TV show. And then Outcast number one, that already is a TV show. I think it's in its second season. Boom. That is one lot. And then I got one large lot left. Let me put these books away. And wonderful viewers out there, I'll show it to you. It's a, a bigger lot if all of the books go. So I'm going to be spreading it across all three of these here. We'll start with those over here. And I'll put those in the middle. And let's see, we got those. We'll split those in half. Put a few of them here. And we'll put the rest over here. Hopefully we can get by without the glare. Let me grab some notes while you feast your eyes on what we have here. So let's start off on the side. This is Batman Rebirth number one, first print. Um, again, everything is, is minty fresh here. Batman The Proposal, uh, cover A, first print. This is uh, Detective Comics 993. That is a Mark Brooks Batmobile variant. That was real real popular when it came out. Just a nice little cover there. And all of these are going to be like build-it lots. You know, I don't know um, exactly what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and huh, find my notes. There we go. So over here, we've got some new 52 Batman. Uh, number zero, which is uh, the origin of Batman. Number four, is that number four? Yeah, which is something that I don't have written down, but is uh, quite a, a sought after comic. And it's just, uh, is it the first full Harper's roll? No, that's seven. I'm forget what that is, but that is a, uh, look it up. <laughs> Batman number four, new 52. Uh, Scott Snyder, Greg Capullo, really great, great looking cover. Um, number six, which I believe is here. Number six, another great cover. And number seven, that is, number six is the first full Court of Owls. Number seven is the first um, full Harper Row. 21, zero year is the first um, Duke Thomas. 28 is the first appearance of Bluebird. 43. This is the regular cover. This is the first appearance of Mr. Bloom. There is the bombshells variant to number 43. And then there is 44, which uh, I believe is a jock cover. Yep, it's indeed. You see Jock was experimenting with using all those bats that he used for that, you know, 880 spectacular. This is the um, origin of Mr. Bloom. And then, of course, what's going to start this lot off, yeah, probably in what I think is some of the, the best comics I got here in the auction, Little Batman Detective Comics 871. This is the first Scott Snyder on um, a Batman comic. This is, uh, I believe, his first work with Jock. And this is signed by uh, Francesco Francavilla, who did the interior art. That is 871. 871 is also the first appearance of James Gordon Jr. as an adult who becomes a murderer. Um, and yeah, like I said, that's the first time Scott wrote any Batman anything. 872, another amazing cover. Really sick cover, if you ask me, in the best way possible. First appearance of the dealer and auctioneer of specialty items, including the crowbar Joker used to kill Jason Todd. And that crowbar is memorialized there right in his eye. And finally, 873 is part three of this uh, this Black Mirror arc that 871 started with. Cover and interior are by Jacques on this one. And then we'll just see how the slot keeps building and building and building. I've got Batman Secret Files. This is when they did all those gold variants. Um, that's something. I've got the first appearance of Alice Kane, which is a book that's kind of getting a little bit of heat these days. That's Detective Comics 854. 
And then two coverage, which I really like and I don't want to part with and I'm probably going to put away and not show you at the auction. Uh, Batman Woman um, issue zero, which I love. That's so cool. And issue one um, from New 52. So there you have it, guys. Let me know what you think is hot. Let me know what you think is not. Let me know what you want to see, what your favorite choices for the auction are. And I'll see you Wednesday night on All About Comics channel, 8 o'clock Central Standard Time. Thank you.